If you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. Don't look for the results now, necessarily. We're living in a world with hard ground, and it's going to be hard work. But it's not impossible with God, is it? It's incorruptible seed. And I was reading this last week about a man who was raised in Scotland in a small town. His name was James Train. He came to the city of Glasgow when he was 18 years of age, and on a street corner he heard the gospel preached once. He left Glasgow by boat and traveled to Canada, went out and homesteaded and became a wealthy farmer. And he forgot about the gospel that he heard, and he never heard the gospel preached again. And when he was 108 years old, he was sitting on his front porch reminiscing. And he remembered that gospel message. And he remembered the text. And he was convicted by the Spirit of God and saved at 108 years of age. What grace of God and what power in the incorruptible seed of the Word of God that all these years lying dormant in his heart, waiting for the response of the ground to receive the good word. But the moment it did, it sprang into life. Like those seeds that were kept in the granaries in Egypt, in some of those pyramids, and they found them, and they planted a few. They've been there for thousands of years, and they sprouted and began to grow. It is happening today in the country here and there, and I thank God for that. But oh, how much more needs to be done. William Blaine wrote a little poem called The Evangelist. He said, His ear hath heard the question, Who to the lost will go? Send me, he cries, his sin-purged lips with altar fire glow. I'll bear the living message of free, forgiving love. Oh, let me win the wanderers to the path that leads above. He is the weeping sower who shall with shouting come, bringing his gathered sheaves from earth to heaven's harvest home. And when with joy he lays them down at the master's feet, his sweet, well done, thou faithful one, will make his bliss complete.